Okay, I realize I'm now 50 years old and high definition video is not, no longer always my friend. But I'm just going to record even though I look wacky and you could see my AI running in the background. Um, I just want to describe what happened to me last night. I had a little bit of um, <clears throat> self-medication last night and I um, released my beast again and um, I didn't know what I was doing but when I woke up this morning there was a video on my YouTube from the Luciferians about how we all have this this beast inside of us and um excuse my crooked glasses i just woke up literally almost and um i've been writing out this dream that i had where um i was visiting some friends in a 70s condo and um the building i was in was on top of a high cliff like something i might have seen in brazil like 30 years ago or you know, um, some other island that's not Hawaii, where there's not a lot of development. And, um, excuse me, slurring my words. <clears throat> I'm still kind of medicated. But um, the, uh, the building, I had warned people that the building was unstable because part of the pathway leading up to the house collapsed since the moment we checked into the building. It was like a vacation rental. And within a few hours of, oh, my lips look weird. Okay. So anyway, within a few hours of um, <clears throat> checking into the condo with my friends, we were like in our teens, like 19 years old or something like that. Even though in my memory, those friends, I lost contact with them when I was about 15 or 16, probably because I moved. Yet again. Anyway, um, so uh, this building I knew was unstable, and I'm gonna write it. I wrote, I've written out the whole dream, and I'm probably gonna post it online somewhere. And I realized that the building was gonna, that the cliff was gonna collapse, and it would take the building with it. And my mom's an architect, so I kind of know what to look for. You know, I kind of know. I can kind of tell when when things are going to go south with the building. I can kind of tell when there's problems with things. You know, I don't know much, but what I do know has educated me that much. Why am I? Why does this keep, this light keep going up? So anyway, um, in my dream, we checked into the condo, and I told the parents of one of my friends, "Look, you gotta tell the landlord we gotta evacuate and get everybody's possessions out of this building because it's gonna fall." And they did it, and but I, I, they all were kind of dealing with their things and getting out of the building and stuff. And I was like the last person in the building. I was still trying to talk to the landlords about um, about them getting everybody's possessions out because mostly what people had done was just run out and left everything behind. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, and. Uh, so I was the last person left in the building. I was still trying to talk to the landlord, still trying to convince them, you know, you know, get everybody's shit out here as quickly as possible so that we don't, you know, so people don't lose all their stuff. Sorry about the green screen there. Uh, anyway, so, <clears throat> so um, the landlord failed to do that. And so everybody's stuff was left in the building. So I was going down the staircase going, oh, well, dumb landlord. And then the building started to fall down the cliff, just started to slide down. I could see rocks falling past the building, too, at the same time, falling down the stairwell. Um, it was like a 70s building with really open walls, so I could see everything happening outside. And it was kind of terrifying in the dream, but somehow I knew that it wasn't real. Well, I think I felt like it was real, but... I wasn't afraid because part of me knew I was just dreaming. And um, so the building finally settled. 
I knew I was safe. I was still in the, the stairwell, which was like the only remaining part of the building and pile of rocks and wood. And my friends were all down there. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And then when I um, opened my eyes, my phone started playing a video. And there was a video about the Luciferians talking about releasing the beast inside. And I'd had, you know, I'd remembered what I'd gone through the night before all, you know, having my usual PTSD breakdown and kicking the walls and things and kicking my punching bag and stuff and hitting it and in the middle of the night, unfortunately not yelling this time, but anyway, um, part of the video was about how when you come in touch with that part of yourself, you know, what people call demons, you know, which is usually just aspects of yourself that people don't like to acknowledge, how they had come in touch with those things that needed to be broken down in their lives. And then after they'd left that area that they had had this realization in and gone elsewhere, the building or the bridge that they'd been standing on or whatever had collapsed within days of them leaving. And it kind of made me realize that, you know, we do have these forces within us that do recognize that which needs to be broken down so that our lives can continue. And that's probably what happened. Um, now, as to what it says about my own personal life and why such a video would come online at that moment, that's another question, right? Aloha, Adam Westish out.